Alright, well, it's going to be episode 3, lesson 8. Now we will have a store point then. We, we can see the screen, I think. If I just type the EY command and 3.11, the version already completed. So let's get some more, little bit of more information about this Python and PyTorch uh, before we get into the small coding for our GAN model development. There are certain additional things that you might need to know, not compulsory, but for example, I think in the industry we talk about PyTorch running with CPU, PyTorch running with GPU, there are certain things like that. But uh, for a basic model development, we don't have to worry about these things that much, but just to have an awareness. For example, I think uh, you all know definitely the CPU that is uh, everybody knows that's the general processing support. But this NVIDIA, NVIDIA GPU support. I think uh, some of you might heard about CUDA support. So NVIDIA, that's for like uh, you know this uh, GPU graphic processing because uh, in this generative AI when you develop in the models with data set there, there can be uh, for image development and all there can be a lot of data processing is there so we need parallel processing advanced data processing with a lot of data a lot of data manipulations are there image processing can be there so for that there's an option called the GPU so PyTorch when you work in it PyTorch you can enable this option to work with GPU if the GPU support is available in your system so that's what is this, this NVIDIA. NVIDIA is an uh, organization which supports these uh, GPU processors. They design them and uh, if you look at the, you can see just to get an idea only. So this is, I have that NVIDIA. You can see the, their designs compared to series of GPUs. These are designs they have and GPU engine specs. So CUDA is one of the popular ones for parallel programming, CUDA. It's pretty simple. I mean, only to uh, depend on what I am telling more. So you can just simply now. It's not all about googling. Now we know we have reasoning engines. Reasoning engines are there. So you just go to bar chat and you can just simply ask him what is this all about. You can see in the screen I have already done that. Pretty simple. Just have a awareness on that. Right? Now we can see what is NVIDIA GPU support. So it says uh, NVIDIA. You can see the information. And again, you can see driver support is there. This is all about GPU acceleration if the system support only, if your hardware system supports only. You can see the code are the most popular one, and that's just only one. Uh, NVIDIA provides various SDKs for developer. It is just CUDA is only one, and parallel programming, likewise, that is you can see uh, CUDA, it is it is Stanford. This is what computer united driver but that is no longer in use by NVIDIA now but anyway they used to say CUDA for parallel programming environment so just uh, some background information for your awareness in this document I can upload this document just for your reference uh, under this uh, description of this video okay then the next thing now for Python development what is the ID we are going to use that's the next question the graphical interface for to maintain to type our uh, very simple to, to do our coding uh, again from bar chat you can ask the question you can see this is a reasoning engine this is not google and this is bart like chat gpt we have google bart the reasoning engine it will just say we have pycham these are the most popular things pycham and not only that we have jupyter notebook of course jupyter labs also there further we have visual studio code vs code also there and again, uh, likewise, so these are the available editors, ID environments for running Python and uh, Python code and with integration with PyTorch. Now, this Torch Studio is something uh, directly given by uh, uh, PyTorch uh, that they are itself, that is their own studio. Uh, but this is like a no code environment, not no code, is low code actually, very limited amount of coding, but you can do everything by clicks graphically based on the order of process flow uh, you can just drag and drop and do that so, torch studio i think uh, i have it just this is torch studio just to show you what this looks like 
But for a beginner, uh, I tell you that for a beginner, it's not recommending to use these tools. I tell you the way forward because we are just starting from the scratch from the very basic. It's not all about experiment. The tools uh, it is to understand how a basic GAN model is developed. So this is the Torch Studio graphic environment, uh, the IDE. This is they have data sets and uh, you can see these are different data sets. The popular one is NIST data set and the categories are there you can just say load data and it will uh, load some set of data and we can adjust the parameters and we can uh, train the model and uh, i mean validate the data set and likewise something like that just to uh, just have an idea and so we have different different data sets here so i can adjust the parameters of the data set and you can modify and graphically without coding you can do that Okay, so that is that uh, that is told this studio and again everybody knows VS code VS code also there and uh, can use very simply VS code for Python programming so this is almost I have loaded a small Python code here and automatically uh, when you open the .py extension your Python main let's say main.py when you when VS code uh, recognize the py extension it automatically asks whether you want to install the extension to give the Python support uh, syntax you, you can say yes and it will automatically install the necessary extension in VS code for Python support but conclusion is this we are not going to use any of these editors that's the conclusion because our objective is not to play with this huge amount of coding and create a mess because understanding a basic GAN model development there is a certain challenge behind it so we need to first understand those things not to play with these code editors and everything so therefore for our programming environment we are not going to use any of these editors not any of this editor. we are going to use the simple command line in a simple command line let's try to understand basic set of codes and loading the torch libraries torch modules and let's try to understand basic uh, functionalities and to uh, to define how to define the generative class yeah actually the ob objective here is that uh, not to uh, play with the code editors and all fine i think uh, i we can continue the development of the GAM model with the coding uh, with the very first code uh, import torch we can continue in the next video onwards okay thanks